Today I'm going to show you how you can unlock the full power of your Galaxy Note 9 by using Samsung DeX. It looks a little something like this. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all the new enhancements on the Galaxy Note 9 for Samsung DeX. Now today, I am using the Samsung DeX pad as my Samsung DeX device, but with the Note 9, you can get pretty much any USB-C to HDMI adapter to be able to do what I'm doing in today's video. But I will do a full review on a bunch of HDMI adapters that you can use uh, in the future. So today we're gonna be using the DeX pad. So here I'm plugged in with HDMI and then I have my fast charge plugged in. There are two USB slots on this where I could plug in a mouse and a keyboard, but we're gonna do as much as we can without that. And then uh, here we have a fan to keep the phone cool. And then down here we have USB-C. So then I have this plugged into my TV. So all we are going to do is plug this right here into the dex pad on the note 9 and then it will go into the samsung dex on the tv now this is something that is brand new before it would go into samsung dex on the phone and the tv so you no longer would be able to use your device but right now you can see that i have the samsung dex on the tv and then i can come in here and i can use my phone just like normal which is pretty handy to be able to use both of those at once. So you're definitely able to multitask a little bit better on here where you can open an app on your phone and then you could open an app on Samsung DeX completely independently of each other. So maybe you would want a mouse and a keyboard plugged in. But the first thing that we're gonna do is go into the notification panel here and you see that we have a few different options. Here we have use your phone as a touchpad and control Samsung DeX with your finger or the S Pen, and then down here we have the using Samsung DeX. So if I pull down using Samsung DeX, I could switch to the screen mirroring or fast charging option. So let's try that right now. I'm just going to switch to screen mirroring and instantly on the TV, now you see exactly what I see on my phone up on the TV. So then if we wanna go back into the Samsung DeX, we pull down the using screen mirroring and I'm going to tap Samsung DeX and now it goes right back into the Samsung DeX experience on the TV. Now let's try the next option, which was use your phone as a touchpad. So now I am just going to tap on that option mm -hmm. and it has switched my phone into a touchpad. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's four boxes. And now when I put my finger on the screen, I can move the mouse around on the TV. And then if I want to rotate my DeX pad here, I can tap the little rotate icon twice. And now I can use it this way in the orientation. You could also just tilt your device, but now it's more like the TV screen. So I can move back and forth, up and down. If I want to open any application, I would just tap twice with my finger. And then when I'm in an application, I can use two fingers to pinch and scroll down. And it's really easy to navigate on here. If I want to drag this YouTube box around, I can tap and hold, and then I have the option to move it around. And then if I double tap, it will take it to full screen mode. So now I can watch all my videos here in full screen with YouTube. If I want to minimize, up here at the top, you have the option to minimize the screen. You close out or completely minimize it. So here I have the restore previous size of the window, and then I can go in and drag and make these bigger or smaller. And uh, how about that new YouTube dark theme, huh? If you haven't seen how to do that, all you need to do is go into the settings of your account. And then here we can go to settings. And then right here we have general. And here you can turn on and off dark modes. This is brand new to Android. So you now have that option. So for those of you that haven't heard what Samsung DeX is, it's essentially a software built inside the Samsung phones from the Galaxy S8 all the way up into the Note 9. And it is able to place your phone onto the big screen in a new Windows-like format. So here you can see I have all my apps down here. I have my recent applications that I can go to. And then uh, here at the bottom, I have like my notifications and all of that down at the bottom. So certain applications have support. There are ways that you can get support for certain apps. So if I go into the apps here and then I go into the menu and I go to Samsung Deck settings, you can do a few things in here 
where you can actually go and turn on Samsung Dex Labs, where it's able to automatically resize some of the applications so that it will fit more properly. And for the most part, I've seen pretty good amount of support with apps. Some games don't work great. Like if you try to play Fortnite in here, there's only touch support if you're mirroring your screen. So you can't actually be using the Samsung Dex system to play Fortnite. You would need to mirror your screen. Uh, but in here, you can change your resolution. It will support up to 2560 by 1440. But right now with my capture card, it is only outputting at 1080p. So now that you have a basic understanding of more about what the Samsung DeX ecosystem is, let's go ahead and pull out the S Pen here on my note. So when I pull this out, you will notice that now on my screen, it has turned dark. And on the DeX, it popped up a notification saying, learn how to control DeX with your S Pen. So one cool thing is when we hover over the screen, you actually see my cursor on the screen where I am hovering. So I'm not actually touching the screen. And then if I want to drag a window around, I would just touch the screen and it has selected and I can now move that around. If I want to go over here and close down YouTube or close down my Chrome, I just tap close and there it closed. So when you hover over, that is your cursor. And when you tap, that is selecting on an item. So that's pretty cool. I really like that enhancement. So essentially up in this corner is the top left of your screen. This corner is the top right, bottom right, bottom left. So if you have your S Pen out and maybe it's a little complicated for you to be looking around and actually touching the screen and moving items, I found that it's really handy just to put the S Pen aside and now to use your finger. So you can actually use your finger, drag around just like you would with the um, screen mirroring but then you can go back and you have all the options of minimizing and everything right there. So not too much different than using the actual touchpad, but it's nice that you just have this square where you can know exactly where your finger is on the screen. So then if we come down here to the bottom of the screen and we tap on the menu, here we can select the Samsung Dex and we tap that little drop down and then it says control the cursor with your S Pen and here it gives us a few tricks. So here we have tap, so select the objects, open apps, activate buttons and more. Then we have tap and drag, so you would tap on like the top of this or the top of an app and you could drag it around. You can touch and hold items and then you can touch, hold and then drag. So now if I want to move an app around on the home screen here, I can just touch and hold and then I'm able to move it around and then I let go and I can place it anywhere. So I really like how it moves with your S Pen. Uh, it might not be as user friendly as using a mouse, but if you don't have a mouse, this is actually a little bit better than using your finger. So again, we can tap down here and then we can look at the touchpad and other settings down there. Now, one thing that I really like is if you are in an application and you would like to type some text. So let's go back to our search bar here. So now instead of me having to type on the screen or use uh, my cursor to find the keyboard, it pops up the keyboard here on your screen. So now if I wanna search Note 9 videos, all I need to do is type on the screen and it would show up on the Samsung DeX and I hit search and you can find all of the videos that way, which is pretty great that it has that option now. I really found it very difficult before to use the mouse and to tap the keys on screen. So now let's test to make sure that works even without the S Pen. So let's put the S Pen back in. Here it is going to just go back to our regular touchpad. If we go into the bar there, we still have the option of using the keyboard on our phone and on the screen we can type out our message and then go back to using the mouse to search and navigate on screen. So on my other Samsung DeX videos, I had a lot of questions about different things that could work. The biggest one is does Netflix work? And so previously when I tried it, it would only work when I was in the screen mirroring mode. But now when I click play, it definitely works here within Samsung DeX. So I could play it up here in this little window. Or if I wanted to go full screen, I could do that as well. So here it is asking me to restart the application 
to go into the full screen mode. And uh, if you are enabling some of the Samsung DeX Labs features for the first time, you'll need to restart DeX for them to work. So if things aren't resizing properly, you will need to do that. So I can hit play. And now we have the Netflix playing in full screen on Samsung DeX, which is pretty awesome. So then if I want to exit out, just go up to the top and here I can click X. So with the audio, uh, you can have it actually play out of the headphone jack on the Samsung DeX, or you can have it just play out of the TV that we're listening to. And you can actually adjust those settings just by going into the menu here and settings, and then Samsung DeX settings. And right here we have set default audio output. So right now it is going to play sounds through the connected TV and not through my phone. If I wanted to use a Bluetooth speaker, I could do that. Um, I have all of those features available. So now let's go ahead and plug in a mouse and a keyboard. So here we just plug in our USB or you could Bluetooth your mouse and your keyboard right to your phone, whatever you want to do. Um, your phone is the computer here. So that's gonna be your main hub to be able to do anything that you want to do. So now we have our keyboard and we have our mouse. So it's still showing the touchpad on my phone. All right, so now we have the mouse plugged in. You can see my mouse cursor on the screen. I can change the speed of that as well in the settings. Let's go ahead and open YouTube back up here if I want to search. So now instead of using the keyboard on the phone, I would just use the keyboard that I plugged in. Search hashtag Note9 tutorials to find my videos. Also check out some other cool videos by Jimmy is Promo as well as Saki Tech and a bunch of other great YouTubers as well. Now when you are using the S Pen on Samsung DeX, there is no way to have the actual DeX mirror onto the screen. That would be pretty sweet, but right now there is no way to do it. Um, so let's say I want to go into my Samsung Notes app and I want to do some drawing. So when I pop open that app on here, I could use my mouse to go in and do some drawing, but if I hover over with my S Pen here, you could do some drawing. So it works pretty well in not having to look at the phone. It's very accurate in what I'm doing. So it's really nice that when I hover over, you can see where the cursor would be and then I can touch and write. So it's kind of like a Wacom. You don't get the full experience because I can't see exactly what I'm writing on on the screen, but this does a pretty decent job in the accuracy and where I am um, pointing at and then where it actually draws. Uh, one other thing is when you are down here at the bottom, if you're near the edges, it does get a little bit difficult to select, uh, but after some practice, I'm sure you'd be able to do it just fine. So of course, one other option that you have is when you are using the DeX, you can still use the S Pen remote. So here, if I'm in my gallery and I wanna go through a few pictures and show somebody, all I need to do is open the gallery, make sure that's the active screen, and then I can tap my S Pen and then it would go through the photos here and I can double tap to go back. And then you could also put this in full screen or if you were using like PowerPoint or something, you would be able to use the S Pen um, options there. And then down here at the bottom, if you're completely done using your workstation for the day, you do have a lock phone and Samsung Dex pad. So if I tap on that, let's see what it does. Boom, it locks everything up. So then I would need to swipe and type in a pin code or password or whatever if I had that enabled. So that is the Samsung DeX experience on the Note 9 with the DeX pad. Now, if you buy just a USB-C to HDMI adapter, it may not have the plug, the two USB ports for a mouse and a keyboard. So all the instructions on the screen is what you would do to navigate through your device. I'm really happy that it has the two screens. So now if I want to make this go back and not be a touch screen anymore, I can actually just go into the use Samsung DeX go back to screen mirroring, mm -hmm. and then I would pull down on here and turn on the Samsung DeX. And now we are back where our phone is independent of our screen, and then I could use my mouse on the screen and it would work no problem. 
So I'm really happy with the improvements there. So like I said before, I will be doing other reviews on other USB-C to HDMI adapters you can use for Samsung DeX and which ones are supported and which ones may not work as good. But right now, the Samsung DeX pad is definitely one of the best options to get. If you guys have any further questions about how Samsung DeX works, please let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you hit subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Also, make sure you check out the playlist over here as it's gonna teach you everything that you need to know about the Galaxy Note 9. And down here, I'm gonna show you more things that you can do with Samsung DeX as well as other Samsung DeX supported devices. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.